Hello, hi, how are you? Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, hooray. Um, today I'm here for a TBR for the Scally Wagathon. It is a readathon all about pirates, and you know my relationship with pirates. I just love everything that has to do with pirates, so I've wanted to participate in this readathon for years, but finally I'm doing it this year. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna fail. Um, I am for sure gonna fail because next week, when this is mainly taking place, I think it's from the 16th to the 23rd or the 24th, um, I work six days out of seven next week, so if it's anything like the week before when I work six days, I'm probably gonna just crash and burn and be tired all the time, but that's fine. I'm gonna give it my best go because I really want to try. I want to participate, and I don't want work to get in the way, even though it will, but it's, it's okay. I'm gonna record a vlog, and we will get to experience the failure together, so... Yeah, I don't, yeah, it, it'll be funny. It'll be entertaining. Just look forward to that. Anyway, the Scally Wagathon, there is a bunch of challenges. Well, it's really a map and then you get to pick your route and then your route ends you ends up at the treasure in the end. So I picked my route. I will link everything down below, by the way, creators, everything, all of that. And then, um, then you get to the treasure. So there are four prompts and I have four books to coincide with those prompts. Uh, the first one is called read a book based around a myth. So I checked out a bunch of books from my library for my Kindle because it just makes it easier. I can take this everywhere, read it at work, home, the store, wherever I want to. So for that, for the myth prompt, I kind of cheated. I decided to go with Stalking Jack, Jack the Ripper uh, by Carrie Maniscalco. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This, is it really a myth? No, but I'm going to cheat and we're just going to say that works for this prompt. Um, this is a young, young adult book that is fiction and it's about Jack the Ripper and there's a girl on the cover and she's stalking Jack the Ripper maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about this book but it's really popular. A lot of people enjoy it and I just kind of want to see what it's about because I don't know it just seems interesting. The second prompt is a book that has a romance. For this I'm going to read The Selection by Kira Cass. This was already on my TBR for this month so I could just read it this week. I think that would be great. Um, the Selection is a book that I hear is pretty bad but it's so bad that it's kind of good um, so I want to see how bad it is. I want to experience it and um, I don't really know what it's about like I've said a million times before. They're being selected for something. Girls are in pretty dresses. Who knows? Anything can happen, right? right. The next prompt is a book you had forgotten that you own. So I looked at my bookshelf and I picked this book. Um, I saw it and I said, hey, I forgot that I own that book. And you know, that fits the challenge. So we're going to go with Timeline by Michael Crichton. This is a uh, Michael Crichton that I have not read. I love me some Michael Crichton. Uh, all I know is that it's sci-fi and that it's probably about time travel. Time is a part of this book. I don't know anything else. I don't want to know anything else. I'm just going to jump into this blindly. I don't know if I will actually get to read this one during the challenge because this book, though it is small, it's a mass market, it's basically 500 pages. And can I read that in a week? In a day even? No. No, probably not. Uh, but I can try. I can try. Anyway, moving on. The last challenge. The last challenge is a cover buy. Uh, I have another book that I have from Kindle Unlimited that I picked out solely because of the cover, and that is Sea of Treason by Stacey Tremblay. I thought it'd be perfect to pick this one because not only did I really like the cover, but this is a book that's also about pirates. I don't know how, in what way it involves pirates, but it does. So there you go. Um, I'll find out what the book is about when I read it and I'll let you know. Uh, I really do want to read that one though. This one looks really really good and I think I for sure want to prioritize a book that's about pirates during a pirate readathon. It just makes sense. Also I'm definitely going to be watching Pirates of the Caribbean during this week because that also just makes sense so I'll film a bunch of footage of Jack Sparrow and we're gonna have a great time. So that's my TBR for the Scally Wagathon. Um, if you're participating, let me know what will you be reading. And um, if you haven't heard about this readathon, I highly recommend you to join. Um, that's all I have to say for today, so I'll see you later. Bye.